everyone we are going to continue the algebra with the with the coordinate um, uh, coordinate transfer and we have a x e z and we show with their uh, uh, base vectors and we are going to transfer to uh, it is O and we are going to transfer to E epsilon omega here E eta and E C They are both base uh, vectors, and uh, we have uh, we have uh, if we have v uh, a vector, uh, we have v x e x plus v y e y plus v z. Plus V Z E Z and it is equal to V epsilon X epsilon plus V eta E eta plus V C E C. And E epsilon equals to P11 E X plus P121 E Y plus P31 E Z and E eta P12 E X plus E P two two E Y plus P three two E Z and E C equals to P one three E X plus P two three E Y plus P Three Z. Then V equals to P the prime. And uh, and P is transformations uh, uh, matrix.
אוקיי. We'll have another also We will have this one for better x, y, z equals to x0, y0, z0 plus p epsilon eta c. And also epsilon eta c equals to p transponent x minus x0 y minus y0 zeta minus zeta 0 and uh, example at least at last we have an example we have a circle and we have a x y axis and we go we spin alpha and it is uh, epsilon and this is beta we have uh, x y equals to p epsilon eta and uh, And from the figure, we have uh, E epsilon equals to cosinus alpha E x plus sinus alpha E y, which is cosinus alpha sinus alpha. And uh, E eta equals to cosinus alpha plus p half e x plus sinus alpha plus p half e y which is minus sinus alpha cosinus alpha <coughs> there p then p equals to cosinus alpha sinus alpha minus sinus alpha cosinus alpha and uh, then uh, epsilon eta equals to p transponent uh, x y Okay, yeah, we have another example, very interesting example, and it the uh, from X Y Z, we are going to epsilon eta c and uh, we are going to put epsilon 
you are going to use epsilon x plus 1 to the line uh, z plus 1 and eta in the plane 3x plus 2y minus z equals to 0 we will now the relationship between x y z and epsilon eta uh, c we put the uh, eta it's the uh, we put it um, omega uh, uh, cross section of this line and this uh, plane and uh, for this uh, we are going to tell that it is x0 y0 zeta 0 and it is equals to 1 to 0 We are going very we are going to solve x we solve zeta zeta is x plus one half minus one and uh, y is uh, this one or 2 minus this one and put it here we get it x and then we put it in those uh, conditions I am noting here uh, zeta equals to x plus 1 half minus 1 and y equals to 2 minus x plus 1 half and put it in that we get x1 uh, we get x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 and uh, 2 and z equals to 0 Okay. And line the line. The line, this line has a, a direction two it is two and minus two minus two and one as a, a direction vector then e epsilon equals to plus minus one third two minus two one It is squared of length 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9 squared is 10 and the uh, e eta e eta is perpendicular e epsilon
and perpendicular to this one and uh, the normal vector till the plane here the normal vector uh, uh, it's uh, the perpendicular vector to this plane is 3 to minus 1 then e eta is perpendicular to e epsilon and these two then we are going to write that uh, 2 minus 2 1 multiplied by 3 2 minus 1 is a cross uh, section cross uh, is 2 minus 2 1 3 2 minus 1 equals to 0 5 10 then e eta equals to 1 divided by 25 100 Then uh, E C E C equals to E epsilon multiplied by E eta. And we put it we use the same and we get that it is uh, 1 divided by 5 squared minus 5 divided by 3 minus 4 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 3 or we can use 3 here and put them Then we have uh, x, y, z equals to the point this one two zero is omega plus this vectors e epsilon is this one uh, here is 2 minus 2 1 and divided by Plus one and uh, here eta eta is there uh, zero uh, one divided by five squared two divided by five squared and this one is minus five divided by five squared minus 4 divided by 5 squared and 2 divided by 5 squared uh, multiplied by 
epsilon, eta, and c. Okay, then we have find the relationship and it is the transfer mat matrix. Okay, and now we are going to stop this and uh, in the next uh, we are going to talk about n value and n vectors. See you.